this is Avinash Sharma and in this video we will discuss indexed view in SQL Server. First of all we check what is the standard view. Standard view is like a virtual table because this view does not contain any data. So when you create the view and file the query so you access the data from the database. So every time you file the query so data is accessed from the database. It means every time you are hitting the database. Now we check the disadvantage of the standard view. Generally, the view are created for the security purpose. Suppose you want to give the access for the limited columns of the table to a user. Then you can create the. When you create the view, suppose you use the multiple tables, multiple joins with a complex query. And that view is used frequently. So that view can create a performance issue on the SQL Server or can increase the access time of the data. It means it might degrade the performance on the SQL Server. Because every time the view is used, actually it is hitting the tables in the database. Suppose in a standard view, you have a very very complex query and that query might degrade the performance on the SQL Server. So how to boost the performance and what is the solution? Solution is the indexed view. Because the standard view does not store the result set on the database and all the calculation happens only at the time of the access of the database. But in case of the index view, it stores the result set at the database in the form of the table. So whenever the view access the data, so it does not hit that database directly. It access the data from that table which has been created from the index. Now we can check the difference between the standard view and the index view with this diagram. So as we discussed in case of the standard view, the data is always fetched from the tables in the database directly, always. But in case of the index view, when you create the index view, so as we discussed, it creates a table and that data is stored in that table. So when you are like you access the data from the index view, so data is fetched from the, this unique cluster index table created by the index. View. So it does not hit the database or it does not hit the table direct, directly. And whenever the like the update, addition, deletion happens in the original table, the SQL server automatically update the index view. Now, how to create the index view? There are two steps. Step one, when you create the view, then create the view with the schema binding. What is the schema binding? We have another video and the link has been given in the description. You can check that link. Schema binding, that option ensure that the fields or columns mapped in this view cannot be dropped from the table. It means you cannot change or alter the table. In second step, create the unique index on the view. See the second step. How an index view works? As we discussed, the index view is very similar to the materialized view in the context of the uh, storing the data. So we can check this one with this diagram. This is the materialized view. So you can check in the left side whenever the like materialized view is created very first time and the query is fired then result is stored in the database subsequently when this view is used the data is fetched from the materialized view from this one. and whenever the like update happens like deletion addition then sql server update the materialized view periodically automatically now we check how to create the index view in SQL Server. So first of all we check the data and now we have the three tables. First of all we have the EMP and in this EMP we have the EMP ID, primary key, then EMP code, EMP salary and department ID. Department ID and the EMP code these are the foreign key in other table. Now we check the EMP department. In EMP we have department ID and department name. So department ID is a primary key. Now third one EMP details. In EMP details, EMP code, then EMP name 
employee age and employee address these are three tables you using these three tables we will create the view so first of all we check the data in this table EMP we have the EMP ID and EMP code then EMP salary and department ID so EMP code and department ID these are the foreign key in other table now we check the department EMP department we have the department ID as a primary key and then department name then third one EMP details in EMP details we have the EMP code then employee name employee age and employee address so these are three tables so we would be joining these three tables to create a now we check in the SQL server how to create the index view there are two steps first of all we have to create the view so in the view and we have to create this view with the schema binding this is the must so in this view we are joining the two tables department EMP department EMP details with the EMP and we are using the alias E for the EMP then DP for the department and the ED for the EMP details so we are accessing almost all column from the all tables then we have added one more table that is the salary plus 1000 we are adding the 1000 rupees in a table and the, we have named it new salary it is the new column now we create this view so view created successfully now we check this view so we have the column from all three tables now we have to check is this view is working as an index view so for that purpose we can use a we can check the statistics of the SQL server for this view now set statistics on now we fire this command again and we check the message so in a message we check we can check work file work table then the EMP EMP department EMP details so this view is accessing all these three tables it means this view is not working as an index view because we have not implemented the second step in second step we have to create a cluster index unique cluster index so now create unique cluster index then name of the index idx say emp on view this is the name of the view and name of the column say emp ID. now we execute this command so unique cluster created now we check so view refresh and we have the view in this view we expand index then we have the this view. we just created this index now we access the data we use this view now check again message the message is still same because still this view is not working as an index view because this option is not available in the developer or standard addition of the SQL Server. This option is available only in the enterprise addition of the SQL Server. But still we can use this option in the standard or developer option. 
so for that purpose we can use say with no expect now we check this one and message so you can see now this time it is scanning only one table that table which was created by the unit in there now if we check the execution plan for this one execute so you can see select then cluster index scan so you can also check in the execution plan it is actually only one table that was created by the index view cluster index suppose if we drop this in index say drop index name of the index we cross check index refresh so you can see index gone now if we check this one this command so we have an error because this no expand with the no expand this uh, feature works only with the cluster index unique, unique cluster index if we say if like we use only this one execute and now check execution plan so you can see it means this view is working as a standard or normal view so this is accessing almost all tables emp emp details, details and emp departments so this is how by creating the index view you can boost the performance of the so guys this was all about the index view in the sql server thanks for watching the video please like the video and subscribe the channel